good people and how are you? Welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts and more. I have this little resin, resin project that I'd like to do. It shouldn't take long and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing. And I'm using UV resin. I'll take this camera down and give you a sneak peek at what I'm doing. So I received these um, cement, I don't know what this is, um, from a dear friend footprints to go in my garden. I thought they were so cute. And um, I'm going to coat them with UV resin so that they don't grow. You know, when you have this type of material out in the elements, eventually it's going to break up and fall apart. And uh, my friend just sent it, sent me a little note that said, someday I hope to walk in your garden. So I just put that on the back of this one. And I'm only gonna be able to do one at a time because I need this tray to fit it in. So, and I want to raise it up off the tray. So I just have some silicone molds that I'm going to sit here so that it can, if it needs to drip, it can drip. And just using some UV resin that I got from Amazon. It's going to be real quick. I'm going to put this on here, take it outside, let it cure, and do the other one. And then I will probably flip them over and do the other side. So I'm just squirting. Spreading some on here, and I will use a paintbrush to spread it out. This is really simple, quick, and easy. And I may not have enough resin on here. I will probably be adding more, but let me at least get just a little bit, and then I'll add. Yeah, this isn't hardly enough. All right, let me squirt some more. That, that's not enough. Because I do want to bring it over the, si over the sides as well. And I'm just going in a circular motion so that I get inside all of these crevices. I'm not sure if this is cement or clay. It's not. They're not very heavy, so it may be clay, but I just want to seal it as well to protect it from the elements. Stick it outside somewhere where I don't know. I don't have any area in my garden. We'll see. So let me just lift it up and do these sides. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need some more. I'm going to put it on my brush this time so that I can do these toes up here. All right, let me sit it back on here and I'm going to put a little bit more on. I don't want a thick coat, but I do want, I don't want a thin coat either. And if you just let it sit, resin levels itself out. So I'm just going to let that level out. I'm going to take this one outside and uh, let the sun cure it. And then I'll start on the next one. I'll get the other one ready. I have silicone molds, just flip, flipping them over just to hold this up off of here because the silicone will bond to this plastic. And I don't want that to happen. The same process. Put a little more this time. And let's rub that in. Just 
just so that I get inside of every little nook and cranny around these flowers and these little indentations in this foot. I'm going to try and see if I have enough to go around the edge before I add more. Let's see how far I can go. Now for the toes, I'm going to add some. And get to the edge of these toes. I want this to be preserved. I don't want it to crumble. I don't want it to erode. I want it to last. This is special. My special friend. Okay. Set that back on these silicone blocks and add just a little bit more and let that level out. Okay, I'm going to take this one outside for the UV rays and I'll bring the other one back in just as soon as it's cured. These, I had these outside for five, seven minutes and they are cured. The sun is so bright out there and so intense. The UV rays didn't take any time to cure this. Very pretty new and it's cured. So I will be flipping them over. No need in showing you that and doing the underside as well. Really cute, really cute. Footsteps, footsteps. Did I turn this one this way? Oh, 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 like that. And if you're using UV resin and you're not quite through with what you, your project that you're working on, your paintbrush, you can wrap it in um, plastic. And as long as it's not sitting in the sun, it won't, it shouldn't harden. I don't think. I know you can do that with regular resin. We're going to see because I'm going to flip these over and see if this is still the same soft. And I'm going to do the other side. But for the most part, for what I wanted to show you, I am done. I am done. Thank you for watching. And this was my little note. I thought it was so nice. So nice of my friend. Appreciate you all. Peace and love. We'll see you next time. Hit that like button. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.